A few centuries ago, these fields rumbled with the sounds of wagon wheels, horse hooves, and marching feet. 300 men, women, and children trudged through the marsh on their way to building a new life, free from religious persecution. Suddenly, a scout brought word that about 2,000 mounted knights were rapidly approaching from two directions. Had the numbers been equally matched, the attackers could have easily wiped out the mostly peasant farmers and settlers. With a seven to one ratio and almost no place to take cover, there would be no contest. The crusading army would strike a quick demoralizing blow to the religious minority, showing their beliefs were not to be tolerated. Near the village of Sudomirj, in what is now the Czech Republic, Jan Zizka, the pilgrim's military escort, dug in between these fish ponds and waited. Within four hours, the battle was over, and the movement was anything but crushed. Zizka had established himself as the greatest general in the region, and the word Sudomirj entered the Czech vocabulary as an expression for accomplishing the impossible. Then one Czech stood up from the ranks of the knights, a man most brave, one-eyed, named Zizka, by the grace of God. And he stood up grimly and took the field to fight. And Zizka marched through the land with his soldiers, conquering castles and towns. And many battles he fought with strong enemies, yet he never lost a battle. 